there was apparently um, an absolute crap ton of Nick videos that was put out over the last few days that I missed. One character that I'm even aware of, which is Nigel Thornberry, and that's just because of the memes and the dreams. Yeah, I, uh, I, I am brutally unfamiliar with some of these other characters, whoever the hell they might be. Lucy Loud? She looks like she's from Beetlejuice. Anyway, let's watch this one first. Hey, everybody. My name is Thaddeus Cruz. From Hello. The Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl development team. And today we're showcasing the moveset of the eccentric nature show narrator, Nigel Archibald Thornberry. I'm so thrilled. Nigel is a so tell me this is like the Waluigi of the game, has a please. Heavy weight, strong attacks, and average speed. He excels at close range ground combat with varied attacks that deal high damage and knockback. We'll begin Nigel Thornberry's wild world with his light attacks. Nigel's light neutral is presenting nature. Okay. His light up is. I get it. Mosquito clap. And his light down is frog hop. He moves forward a bit while dealing damage and croaking like a frog. Try juggling your opponents around, mixing up his light up and light down attacks. Moving on to the air light Clap, attacks. clap, 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 clap. He's like Nigel's Jigglypuff? What? Is I need to see his recovery if he's like pecker. Jigglypuff. This hits the opponent multiple times. And if he can like instant, instant kill you. Close, making it a great combo option. His light up air is... What's over there? And his light oh, down air his is... his downfall kind of is... Welcome! dive. He attacks diagonally downwards, and the direction can be slightly tweaked in midair. What the hell is that? Nigel's light dash attack is Gorilla Charge. And here we can observe Nigel mimicking all kinds of animals with his strong attacks. There's Nigel's an alligator that popped out of nowhere and then disappeared. Orangutan Punch! His strong up is Bullhorns. And his strong down is Scorpion Sting. Not just these are weird looking moves, dude. Slower, but they make up for it in having lots of knockback. Let's talk about Nigel's air strong attacks. Nigel's strong neutral air is Aerial Orangutan Punch. I'm shocked. His strong up air is Tea Time. How delightfully British. And his strong down air is... Aerial Scorpion Sting. Nigel's strong dash is... Crocodile Wrangling. Use the Orangutan Punch after this move for some major damage. Wait, special to special now, cancels? let's take a closer look at the wild Nigel in his natural habitat. Special to special cancel? Special attacks. Okay. Nigel's neutral special is... The worm. That's not my mouse. That's not my mouse. Like Don't blame me. That's not my mouse. He dodges all attacks and projectiles and can pass through opponents. Use this move to quickly reposition or avoid a powerful hit. Nigel's up special is Smashing Whale. Nigel becomes a whale, moving upwards and then crashing into the stage with great force. Absolutely smashing. All right. Nigel's down special is Flick. He flicks his opponents with insane force, often finishing them on the spot. Wait a minute. Beware this is sort of... A wait a minute. Tiny hitbox and Th that's pretty Jigglypuff-like. Which leaves him quite vulnerable. If yeah, because he he's got a crap ton of recovery. And finally... Insane Nigel's startup, thoughts. crap ton of recovery. Like, you have to... You're going to Thanos snap Nigel's their ass out or you're going to die. Okay, so yeah, that's Jigglypuff. I get you now. This is a large stage. I now understand. The middle and six platforms. The tree trunks from the waterfall provide additional space to recover your footing, provided you don't fall below the stage. Ah, looks like Darwin's enjoying the show as much as everyone else. The monkey? Uh, okay, maybe not. And to finish this educational documentary. Let's watch Nigel become one with nature in a real match. Get ready. Three, two. That one. motherfucker has one hell of a nose on him. I'm surprised he doesn't use his nose as a weapon. 
how long is it until people just mod in the Smash Brothers characters over these characters? Right? Uh, hang on a second. I got I got something. Yes. <laughs> Damn, I'm excited now. <laughs> I'm the Nickelodeon DJ. And that's Nigel. Thank you so much for tuning into this character showcase. And please look forward to more like it in the future. Wow, smashing. Oh, you know what I realized? Dude, I'm like, the Ninja Turtles are gonna be in this game. And somebody said there's a rumor that Shredder could also potentially be a DLC. I was like, oh God. You wanna talk about a character that is like, oh, who's the best Ninja Turtles character? Shredder. <laughs> Shredder's the coolest Ninja Turtles character and he always has been. Give him like a super Shredder install. I'll take it. Hello everyone, my name is Marco Villalobos from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl development team. And today I'll showcase the moveset of the Wait a minute. Gloomy... Is this character supposed to be a reference of, to, to, to like Lydia from Beetlejuice? Because... Bath girl, Lucy Loud. Lucy is a highly technical character with a short range but lots of mix-up options that will keep your opponents on their toes with fear. She has three different scare modes that modify her special attacks requiring quick thinking about which one is appropriate for each situation. So I don't know Normal, what she's from, what show she's from at all. I have no idea. Mode she's currently in by defects around her. But she looks spooky. She's goth Naruto? We'll what? begin this creepy seance with Lucy's light attacks. Lucy's light neutral is three of swords. Okay, so she uses like tarot light cards? Is roundhouse kick. And her light She's actually animated pretty AFK. damn well. She compared to some characters. Forward a bit. Use this I don't know what the hell Loud House is. Came on 2016, 2017? Okay, attack. that makes sense. Well, I don't know what it is. Lucy's light neutral area is Aerial Three of Swords. Four modern Nick cartoons, okay. Aerial Roundhouse Kick. And her light down area is Axe Kick. This character's gonna be top tier as hell. I'm just gonna call it right now. Lucy's light dash this is like an early prediction flow. based off no actual factual Gloom evidence. But just the way Lucy, a couple of things look, like her I'm gonna say right now, and we're gonna call Lucy's it strong neutral is that this character is probably gonna be top tier as hell in the uh, in the her first patches. So making a huge assumption. We can clip this for the future. And her strong down is Coffin Slam. Okay, that activates Moving weird. on to Lucy's Earth Strong attacks. Lucy's Strong Neutral Air is Aerial Umbrella Pose. Her Strong Upper is Aerial Scythe. The Scythe Cloak is cute. And her Strong Downer is Poetry Slam. Lucy's Strong Dash attack is Bat Swarm. And for the true fans of horror and spooks, here we have Lucy's special attacks. So she just has a straight teleport. Lucy's neutral special is Dark Bite. She bites in front of her. If she hits an opponent, she changes her scare mode. Biting again loops between her modes in the following order. Her what? Vampire mode, then ghost mode. Holding the button while in vampire mode makes her launch four bad projectiles in all directions, and then reset to normal mode. What? Holding the button while in ghost mode makes her turn invisible for a few seconds and then reset to Wow! Mode. And it's actual invisibility, not bullshit invisibility. Light of the bats. In normal mode, she rises upward with slight horizontal control. In vampire mode, she rises diagonally while dealing damage. In ghost mode, she flies upwards for a bit less than in normal mode. And yeah, she's kind of cool. She, she, there's some characters that looked like they had a bit more time in the oven than others. Lucy's down special is jump scare. 
She quickly teleports a set distance, applying different effects when she emerges. In normal mode, she doesn't apply any effects. In vampire mode, she emerges from a coffin that slams open. Oh, and so she gets damage. way better in vampire mode, okay. In ghost mode, she gets a few frames of invincibility after emerging. Wow, and so she get buffs for either one. This is stunt mode. Pretty curious. Any Shoto's? Spongebob. Spongebob is 100% the Shoto of this Lucy's game. Lucy's stage is Royal Wood Cemetery. This is a small side stage with no platforms. A tombstone occasionally rises around the stage, functioning as a wall and a platform. Okay, it doesn't like hit you, right? Just stay away from them as they emerge from the ground. Oh, good. Oh, beautiful. Despite it does. the dark decor, Lucy's pet Fangs is just happy to be here. Now, let's watch Lucy let loose all of her gothic energy in a real match. Play nice. Three, two, one, go! The music here seems okay. It's low, but it's not terrible. It's got some drums. It's got some vampire-y stuff. You know, it feels like it very, it feels like, I don't know the show and what the show sounds like, but it's, it sounds like it's from a show like this. It seems okay. Jesus, Jesus. What is that aerial follow-up? Oh my God. Oh my God. Th these guys, we want to make some combo videos out of this game. That's what they said. We're going to give you some combo videos. And that's Lucy. Thank you so much for tuning in to this character showcase. And please look forward for more like this in the future. Weirdly enough, I have like zero interest in that character or that show. But that demonstration was actually very good, right? Really unique character, a lot of interesting gameplay stuff, and she looks good. Uh, some characters just feel like they're missing some frames of animation. Nigel was one of them. I think she genuinely looks really cool. Yeah, I think she's got a lot of personality too. Do I want to play her? No, but it's like, I kind of hope every character eventually sort of looks, you know, not like her exactly, but given the same sort of attention. Because it's pretty clear they're trying to hit a deadline. Which isn't a bad thing, as long, as long as they get enough support to polish up all that stuff. So this kid is not an X-Men? Is that what's going on? Hello everyone. Is that his My story? Michael Villalobos from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl development team. And today I'll showcase the moveset of the teenage ghost superhero Danny Phantom. Danny okay. Phantom is a mix-up type character that focuses on versatile moves that excel at close range and at exploiting opponent weaknesses. Many of his moves he's Nova. <laughs> himself, and his half-ghost nature allows him to jump higher than other characters. Let's begin this He's a half-ghost? Danny Phantom's left huh? Danny Phantom's light neutral is jab. His light up is backflip kick. Oh, is he Mewtwo? And oh, he people are already is, saying Mewtwo. Okay, I called it. He's Mewtwo. I already Let's see some familiar Danny normals. Air light attacks. Danny Phantom's light neutral air is air slash. Take advantage of this move speed to combo it into itself. Jesus. His Jesus. light up air is ghost flip. And his light downer is Pro Slash. No, I never saw Danny Phantom. This is definitely his light a show is that was lighting uppercut. Uh, this is As definitely a show noticed, that was not all of his light attacks are very fast age appropriate very for me. I think that. when it, it came out. Good at comboing his opponents and pressuring them. For example, nothing screams going goes. For like just Phantom's just for perspective and example, Danny um, Phantom when Power Rangers came out Phantom to the Thermos. states, Property that show Phantom was too young for me. Double punch. This is why I never really got into Power Rangers, much less like, you know, is power super into it. He moves forward a bit. Power Rangers was kind of for kids you when I was younger. Mix -up option when you want to attack and reposition. Moving on to Danny Phantom's air strong attacks. Danny Phantom's strong neutral air is ring burst. This attack has short range, but 360 degrees. Cover Danny Phantom? Came out in 2004? I was making my own animated films in fucking, uh, and working full time by 2004, chat. By 2004, that's one year before me and Jessica started going out. By 2004, I had already worked two jobs 
and I was already making my own films that were in, in film festivals from college. Makes for a good defensive move. That's the his perspective. Is Ghost Loop. And his strong downer is Power Crash. He flies forward a bit, then crashes down to the floor, dealing damage. Use this move to quickly really reposition feels like around the stage in unexpected ways. Just really be careful when like you choose to use it. Danny Phantom's strong dash attack is Sliding Ghost Punch. Let's now gaze at the peak of ghost powers with Danny Phantom's special attacks. Danny Phantom's neutral special is Phantasmal Bolt. He fires a ghostly projectile that deals damage to the first target, okay. then passes through it to potentially hit another target before dissolving. It's a pretty fast projectile. Try firing it twice to really make your opponent struggle. Danny Phantom's up special is Spectral Leap. He goes invincible while moving okay. in the chosen direction. Okay, so the, the influence is pretty obvious here. Dealing damage to nearby opponents. Right, I feel like and some characters have a bit of smash influence well. in them. He lets and then other characters are just like unapologetically like, charge whoa, this move holy, holy fucking moly. Back. This guy's yeah, just Mewtwo. Much less and Nigel Thornberry. I Danny didn't see a lot of uh, a lot of Jigglypuff in him until Danny there was Phantom a couple of attacks and it was like, oh, oh wow, zone. okay. This is an uneven medium sized stage with three moving platforms. There's the some characters like Nigel and I think Danny. But you could just put the character the model of now, the Nintendo character Danny over them and you'd be pretty much playing an alternative version of them. Jesus, dude. These guys must, these guys love combos. This game is unhinged. I don't even know what song I would put in here for Danny. I can't really hear much of the music. Jesus, that move that move's a crazy kill. Holy crap. These weird ass ghost doors. The hell's going on? I think Danny looks okay. Yeah, I don't think he looks bad. He doesn't look that rough in my opinion. Don't know any of the references or what he's from, but I think in terms of like character quality and overall visuals, not bad. I think it looks better than Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Weirdly, a lot of Ren and Stimpy came out kind of rough. It's like, man, I wish Ren and Stimpy got a little bit more uh, attention. Who the shit's Lincoln Loud? Hello, everyone. My name is Marcos Villalobos from the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl development team. And today I'll showcase the moveset of the man with the plan, Lincoln Loud. Lincoln is a versatile character that uses his vast arsenal of toys to keep his opponents in check and punish them when he finds an opening. Okay. Let's start with the yo-yo tricks bonanza that is Lincoln's light attacks. Lincoln's the stage looks cool. Is yo -yo jab. Press the button repeatedly to continue this attack over and over again. His slide up I'd argue this is actually one of the best swing. looking stages in the game, funny enough. And his slide down is Watch the Dog. You can also press the button repeatedly to continue this attack over and over again. Try using it to make it harder for your opponents to grab the ledge. I thought that was SpongeBob shoved Lincoln's inside that cage. Right, attacks. but it's like a giant bird. Lincoln's lag neutral is aerial yo-yo jab. His I think he looks pretty is good. Aerial yo -yo is this supposed to be a Ness-like character? If he has to explode and himself to get back to the stage for more mobility, from then, you know, if he has PK fire or something like Lincoln's that, then we're 100% going to find out. Scooter ride. Nothing manages to bring back suburban childhood memories quite like Lincoln's strong attacks. Lincoln's strong uh -oh. neutral is... Run up baseball hey, bat? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, the bat. Uh -oh. His front up is lift off. It's happening. He can fire! And his strong down is Raccoon Ruckus. He moves forward a bit while dealing damage. Let's talk about Lincoln's Earth Strong attacks. Lincoln's strong neutral air is Scooter's Pin. That's actually a really cool looking move. His strong upper is 
stinky diaper. The uh, the razor flip. It's actually He's very well animated. Is VR slash. Lincoln's strong dash attack is radical slash. And now we'll see Lincoln take his hobbies to the next level with his Wow, he's got a super soaker. Lincoln's neutral special is the splasher. He fires What the hell does it stun? Dealing damage and stunning his opponent for a bit. You can aim the string up and down. Try using it in the air while moving to cover more space and combo it into other attacks. His up special is Ace of Spades. Uh oh. He flies upwards and then damages surrounding uh -oh. opponents in an Looking area. Looking pretty around. familiar, boys. And his down special is Spin Top. He releases a Spin Top projectile that moves along the ground. This Spin Top can also bounce off of walls and keep spinning. And huh. finally, Lincoln's stunt move makes all of this look too easy. So I didn't Lincoln see any like is his hum, the loud house. I didn't see any direct like PK fire. This There's a lot a of NES influence, of but definitely no PK fire. Is the the the, the I guess the 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 dreidel top Looks thing like to sort of is one, Probably but not really. Maybe if the Beyblade can come back and like smack you. Now let's watch Lincoln go all out with his geekiness in a real match. Play nice. Three, two, one, go. The devs already said that the uh that the water gun special already got nerfed. Cute. That's disgusting, man. Cause you could like jump neutral it and cover a whole bunch of space and to just knock them the hell out. That's too good. Bruh. <laughs> bruh bruh. <laughs> Come on, man. You better have a shit ton of recovery if that's the case. Oh, what a hit. Yeah, I don't think you can get hit by your own spinning top. Both the loud kids seem very well made and very good. You know? Don't know and what the hell Lincoln. they're from or what the Thank hell's going so on, but they look very good and they look they Please look like look they're well animated too, you good. know? It's getting to the point now where the, the game has shown off enough characters to see like, yes, there's been some corners cut every once in a while. Um, I'd imagine that they're going to revisit a lot of this stuff after the game comes out, especially if the game is popular and if the game is, you know, obviously supported. Um, but there is a budget, <laughs> you know, there is a budget budget and a limited amount of time. This game does literally come out in like one week. So I, don't, I wonder how much else they have to show. But damn, dude, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, oh, my God, if they have Shredder. Holy, holy shit. Holy shit.